In this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I have learned in 30 years of marriage. So this video will be beneficial for a wife or even for a single woman that plans on getting married soon and you want to learn how to be a good wife. If you haven't watched part one, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and you watch that one too. I don't care who you marry. In marriage, you're going to have issues, just like in life. But it's going to be more challenging for a couple. And the reason why is because two people are trying to become one. And also, we are imperfect people. I think that a lot of Christian women feel that if they married a guy that's a Christian as well, that they're not going to have problems in their marriage, but you will. And so when you start having problems, don't think it's something strange or because you didn't marry the right person. Because no matter who you marry, you are going to have to face some things that have some struggles in your marriage. But the main thing is don't give up on your marriage or don't think it's strange or don't feel like it's because you didn't marry the right person. One of the best things that helped me when I was going through a difficult season in my marriage is that I evaluated my whole marriage and I thought about how that if the good outweigh the bad, then your marriage is worth fighting for. When you do have the issues in your marriage and you know that it's because it's your spouse's fault, even if it is your spouse's fault, you still are some part of the equation. So what you always should do is evaluate yourself, evaluate your part in the issue that you guys are having. The reason why you want to evaluate yourself, even though it is your spouse's fault, is no matter what happened to you in life or even in your relationship, you are responsible of how you behave, how you react to the situation. And so you want to make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to do. Forgiveness is hard to move forward in your life and you haven't forgiven. Forgiveness is very important in a relationship and it's something that you are going to have to do often. It's so easy to become resentful, to hold on to something that your spouse done that offended you. Forgiveness is hard, but it's something that you have to learn to do in order to have a good relationship. In the Bible, it talks about how that when you don't forgive your brother of the trespasses, then your heavenly father won't forgive you of yours in a relationship. You want to have a forgiving attitude because there are going to be times that you are going to do something that's going to offend your mate and you will need forgiveness as well. Apologizing can be difficult, especially if you feel like you're not in the wrong or your mate is the one that started the issue. It's very easy to get in an argument with your spouse. You may feel that your spouse is the blame for the argument and that may be true. I don't know about with you, but with me as a woman, sometimes I feel like that I'm the one that always give in or that my husband don't apologize fast enough. I always have to be the first one to do it. But even though it may not seem fair, sometimes you have to be the bigger person and apologize first. And the reason why is because what's more important is to have peace in your home. And sometimes you have to be the one to first pursue the peace. Be patient. It takes a lot of patience in a marriage, especially when you have been married for a long time. Because it's easier to start getting on each other's nerves or to where everything that your spouse does, it kind of aggravates you. But when that happens, try to have patience and, and also pray to God often about it. Because that's one thing that I do on a regular basis is that I pray to God and I also ask him to help me to have patience with my husband and to also help me to be the wife that he needs me to be for him. One thing I love about God is that when you are sincere with him and if he see you are trying to do your best, he will step in and strengthen you and give you what you need. Respect. What makes a good marriage and also a good wife is when you respect 
your husband because when you respect your husband, certain things you won't say to him and you will watch the way that you interact and treat him. Even when he's not around and you talk to someone else about your husband, you will watch what you say and that's because you respect and also love him. Whether he's not around to hear it or not, you wouldn't say anything ill about him and it's because you respect him. What a lot of women don't understand too is when you respect your husband and when you get with your friends or your family and you talk negatively about your husband, you might as well talk negatively about yourself because that is what you're doing. When you pull him down, you're pulling yourself down as well. And when you don't respect your husband, it would hinder your relationship. That's one thing that you must have in your relationship is respect. Treat him the way that you want to be treated. One of the hardest things for me in marriage was when I had to treat my husband the way that I wanted to be treated, even when I felt that he didn't deserve it. There was a time in my marriage a couple of years ago to where my husband and I we went through a difficult season in our marriage and it lasts for a long time. And I can remember praying to God about it often. And I remember him telling me how that I needed to watch my behavior towards him. I needed to respect him and to treat him good. And I can remember thinking that, God, this is not fair. Why is it that I have to be the one to always give in, always do what's right? But I do remember him saying to me that because you still have to do what's required of you. It's his will for me to love and respect and to treat my husband the way I want to be treated. Once I started doing that, it turned my marriage around and it also transformed my life. And the reason why is because I was obedient and I learned to put more trust in God than myself or anyone else. And I do believe that through my obedience, God turned things around in my marriage. So even now, it's still hard at times to where when I feel like my spouse was wrong about something. But I still try to treat him the way that I want him to treat me. It's not easy, but it's God's will. And when you are obedient and do what God's word says, you will reap the benefits in your life. Being married is not easy because you have to constantly work on yourself. And let's not even talk about submitting. That is hard, but it is God's will. If you try to keep improving yourself and to do your best, you will be a great wife and you will have a beautiful marriage. I have a question for you. What are the main struggles that you have faced in your marriage? And how have you overcome it? If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. If you are a wife and you are going through some hard times in your marriage and you just need someone to talk to that can give you some good advice, schedule a free 30-minute consultation with me on Candorly. I'll have the information in my description box. I have one more video in this series, so make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Bye.